Yeah, baby, deranged style. It's time. Deranged time. Let's get to it. Welcome to D-Range. What we're going to do today, we're going to test out some different locks. See how tough they are. See if you can do like the movies shows you can do. You can open locks with guns. Well, I'm sure you can. Maybe. Well, we're going to see. We're going to test out some different calibers of guns. and See what it takes to get these locks open. Now this lock and this lock these two locks here you can see them they're harbor freight locks i don't know they feel pretty heavy pretty heavy these two right here these are brinks regular old brinks locks okay they're all brand new what we're going to do today we're going to see what it takes to get these open just so y'all can get a good close-up on what we got, what I just did. There's a Harbor Freight lock. There's a Brinks. There's a Brinks. There's a Harbor Freight lock. And what we're going to do, we're going to try to see. Like I said, we're trying stuff D-Range style. So we're a little different than a lot of people are. We're going to start out with this small caliber stuff. So this is a Marlin. You can see it? It's a Marlin Model 60 22 caliber. Don't have any sights on it or anything, so this is going to be a little, a little struggle, like the struggle bus, baby, but we're going to see what happens here. So I'm going to start with that small lock first, if I can. Alright, I put three rounds in it. Add it. So, I just want to see, it's a 22, so... Let's see what the 22 does to it. All right, so that 22, we got one there, one, it looks like maybe it was up here and it ricocheted up or something, but there's two rounds right there. So those two rounds didn't do squat. All right, y'all remember this, the trusty Whoa, the trusty Shield Plus is still here. It's still going. We're going to shoot it again today. Huh? M&P Shield Plus. If you don't know what happened to this gun, go watch our last episode. All right, so we're back with this Shield Plus one more time. All right, we hit it. So there's your damage. I'm sure that lock ain't gonna open now, but we're gonna try to make it open. That's our whole point behind this. All right, grace it across the top, grace it down the side, grace it right there. All right, now to break out the bigger. Bigger guns, let's see. Oh, AR next. We're back with the AR. We're going to see what we can do with this AR down there. All right, here we go. This is where I'm sighting that gun in, so you can see. But we hit her twice right there, once right there. Moved it over. 
and it's it's blown a lot of the guts in there. All right, so we might hit that one, but we can move over. All right, so for that Brinks lock down there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this one out slug in it. Just see what it does. Oh. We're gonna try it anyhow. Did it pretty good. Ain't so sure. It might have opened. Only did it open that can right there. So whatever happened, that can above it, it busted that can. Most matter of fact, it busted both those cans and a piece of that can. Good gracious! He got all three of those cans. And this uh, it's pretty mummed up. It's not hot, but it is still locked. You ain't getting it unlocked. But yeah, that stinks. Woo. It got, see that can's got a hole in it, hole in the bottom. That can's ripped out that side there, that can there. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty nifty. Huh, it's pretty nifty. All right, so lock number one, lock number two. Lock number one looks like, mm, like it had a rough night. Lock number two looks like somebody know where it was all right yep all right let's go next bunch of dirt fly and I'm gonna go to this new lock all the way on the end that heavy duty lock hit it in the lower right all right what it would do I saw a bunch of mess back there fly. And that was with a 5-6 Creedmoor. In case any of you are wondering. It's locked, still locked. And that right there is what that 5-6 Creedmoor just did to this U.S. General lock. I got a feeling if I move it over just a little bit. I brought some water with it too. That's pretty weird. We're gonna try to move this over one more time with the Creedmoor. We're gonna lead up for right this minute. We moved her over just a little bit. That time, basically, what we were doing then, laying underneath the table coast. I was scared. A little shrapnel but we were coming up here and we shot a couple locks so i shot the top of this brinks lock again you can see where that creedmoor went through there you can see where it hit right there you can see where it hit all down here it's busted this lock up pretty good but i will have to say ain't locked much that lock's still locked that lock is just it's unlocked. You can see it right there. That lock would be easy to do. It's just you got to have something that was not touched. This is another couple of rounds. I mean, we got 
old grades of stuff in there that's gone. I think our locking mechanism is up here. I've shot it down here three times now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get it over here somewhere. Up, high, up higher and over here. I've been aiming right here. So that's how much that scopes off. So I'm going to aim it right here. And see if we can't do one more. Or we just get the shotgun out here. Go ballistic. Let's see what we can do. That's what the moral of the story is. So if we put one more in that in that one. go over here we put her almost in the center there all right so we hit that one again we went right through the top up here again so we're a little high that one there we went right through the middle we busted the guts out of it it's still hot and it's still locked. So I'd say I'd say that lock's pretty good lock. These locks right here, I think that's why they're designed with all these tabs. I mean, if you look at that lock right there, it's unlocked. You might, you might could pry on that now and get that out. There ain't nothing left of that lock. And just so you know, this is just random guns shooting at locks. Um, 6.5 Creedmoor is a new gun I just got, so I want to try it out some. I think, uh, think who I got it from in the description below at the end. Um, 22, I've had that gun for a long time, since I was a little boy. The 9mm, we shot it in the last video. I just want to show y'all, it still shoots. Um, the AR, we still trying to sight it in, so it is what it is. It is hitting stuff, though. Anyway... And then this Remington 870 here, which is doing most of the damage. I think I just snigged that thing. I don't think I hit it good. I think that's going to wrap that part of today's episode up. You know as well as I know that we always got a little bit more for you. One way or the other, whether you like it or not. So, I'll show you. Don't blink. So, you know it's not deranged unless we do something kind of deranged all right so basically what we're gonna do we're gonna take this lock which is locked all right it's locked we're gonna place it inside you still see it all right and then what we're gonna do Put all this tannerite in here. Pack it down, get it tight. And pull this tannerite on top of it. We're gonna see if this lock will open, if we can even find it when it's done. So Did you see where it went? Oh, 
I see the lock on the ground. Hmm. I see the lock on the ground. Shit, son. Not a scratch on it. Well. Another souvenir. Souvenir, souvenir, souvenir. That one ain't a souvenir. I'm going to use that one. Souvenir. Well, thank you for watching. We know that, uh, Tannerite don't do anything to a padlock. So don't try that crap at home. Because it just don't do anything. I mean, that thing was like, God just laid it on the ground and said, let's get away from this stuff. I mean, that thing was just laying there just pretty as can be. And it still works because I was mashing it up and down. Either way, till the next time, enjoy these things. Like it, share it, subscribe it. Tell your mama, tell your auntie, tell your uncle, tell your friends, tell your cousins, tell everybody you know. I need some people to subscribe. Y'all been doing pretty good. I appreciate all the all the love I've been getting from y'all. I need some more likes. I need y'all to watch the videos. I, I, I just need people to watch videos, period. Either way, until the next time.